this lesson on proportions. Proportions is one of the uh, five activities within the operations module of Middle School Math HD uh, for the iPad. Before we get into proportions, let's review ratio. Uh, ratio is a relationship between two quantities and we're, we're showing uh, ratios can be expressed in multiple ways. So we're showing it a couple ways uh, uh, in the middle of the screen where we say uh, there's two cavemen to, to uh, one crab. Um, so we can write it 2 colon 1 or 2 or 2 to 1. And, uh, or ratios can also be expressed as fractions, so 2 over 1. Uh, a proportion shows two ratios that are equal. So, for instance, if you need to make some juice, and you the recipe called for five parts water for what every one part concentrate, um, if you wanted to double up the amount of juice that you made, uh, you'd simply just um, you know, add 10 parts water and, and two parts concentrate. So what we have is a, is a true proportion, um, that th those values really are equal. So in middle school math HD, you're going to um, encounter some problems where you need to find the missing value in a proportion. So a couple ways to do that, and we're looking up in the top left now where we have 5 to 9 equals 15 uh, or a missing value. What we want to do is find, um, I guess, the missing link uh, between the 5 and the 15. Uh, in this case, you know, is it to multiplication or division? Um, or how we can get to from 5 to 15 or, or the other way around. Um, but this time it's, it's 5 times 3 is 15. So if we do that up top, um, you know, if we think of this as equivalent fraction. If we do that to the, the numerator, uh, we have to do the same thing to the denominator. And uh, you know, nine times three is is twenty seven. Uh, same thing with the, the one on the right, where we have uh, four over thirty is equivalent to something over fifteen. And uh, you know, we we can connect those values on the bottom um, somehow. Uh, thirty uh, and the fifteen. Um, this time it's going to be through division. And uh, how, how can we get from 30 to, to 15? Or uh, I suppose we could look at it from the other way around, 15 to 30. Um, but if we divide it in half, we can go 13 divided by 2 is 50, 15. So if, if, these, if this truly really is a proportion, these are equivalent, um, we should be able to do the same thing up top. Uh, 4 divided by 2 uh, gives us 2 over 15. So um, completing their, um, their proportion. Uh, on the bottom, we're going to look at a little different different method uh, this time because it's not you couldn't do that as, uh, quite as smoothly um, in these next couple examples because it really is uh, I suppose you could with um, with multiplying or, or dividing by a decimal number but we'll, we'll look at this other method uh, and it's sort of a neat trick here is what what we can do is is um, whenever we cross multiply so if we say six times six is thirty six um, whatever nine times the missing value is should also be thirty six so. If we can't, uh, you know, do, maybe do this in our heads and you just write it down, say, well, 36 uh, or 9 times blank is 36, or we could look at it and say 36 divided by 9 uh, would give us that missing value, and that missing value is 4. Okay, we can see that that's the same proportion for, for 3 over 2. Uh, and finally, the, the, the last one on the bottom right, uh, we see there's a proportion of um, blank over 12 is equivalent to 12 over 16, and we're going to use that same method again. Uh, this time we'll multiply the 12 times the 12, which uh, is 144. So whatever this blank on top times 16 is, is uh, one, it turns out to be 144. So we need to find that uh, missing value times 16. Uh, gives us 144. So if we want to use division again, uh, and say 144 divided by 16 is 9, uh, gives us that missing value of 9. So that's how you can solve some proportion problems. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the lesson and I uh, hope you have lots of fun with Middle School Math HD. Thanks.